Now, uh, no one really knows the key to great art, but as it turns out, it could be a typewriter key. Well, Giles Brandreth gets down and quirky uh, with an artist who prefers to tap rather than draw. <laughs> Much as I'd like to take credit for this, it's actually the work of typewriter artist Kira Rathbun. In this brave new digital world of computers, smartphones and the internet, Kira uses a distinctly old-fashioned gadget to create her art, the humble typewriter. So Kira, what made you think of creating art with a typewriter? Well, when I was back at uni doing my art degree, I had a typewriter, my first one there, in front of me in my bedroom, and with nothing to write, nothing to say, um, but still overwhelming desire to press the keys. So I started just pressing the same character. I liked the way it looked, not a word, just a line of the same mark. And then I started to manipulate the paper to see how I could, whether I could draw. And was there a eureka moment when you thought, yes! This is it. Did you dive was, in straight away? It was like a light bulb moment. And I just thought, yeah, I could really push this. Kira has been commissioned by publishers and magazines to produce images of the rich and famous, ranging from Nicole Kidman to Barack Obama and David Miliband. So the letters and the numbers, they don't represent letters and numbers. They are just, as it were, blobs on the page. Yeah, I try to get away from words and language as much as I can. So I think of like an H as to create a sort of blocky effect. Yeah, each character has its own use for me. While the practice of using a machine to print letters has been around since the early 1800s, the typewriter as we know it today was invented by Christopher Scholes in 1868. Kira isn't the first person to use a typewriter as an artistic tool. In fact, the oldest known example of typewriter art is this picture of a butterfly, made in 1898 by Flora Stacy. Then, when computers were invented in the 1960s, they were too primitive to create graphics, so people started using the keyboard characters to create pictures. Kira, however, favours the classic ink ribbon and paper approach. How many typewriters have you got now? In the last time I counted, they were, I got them all out on the fire escape and there was about 30. But I know I've acquired a couple more since then. And to create a work of art, how long does it take you? So it could take five seconds, like that yep. piece there, or many, many hours, depending on what I'm typing. Um, Hammersmith Bridge there was on three separate pieces of paper, so three sessions of typing, so many, many hours. Kira often sketches outside in her local park. Well, today the light looks rather flattering, so I wonder... Could you do a portrait of me now? Get the red ink out, shall I? <laughs> Cheeky. I mean, how do you choose what letters? Underscores. Underscores? To begin with. You feel there's a touch of underscore about it. Yeah, that. yeah, you're an underscore type. I'm not sure that's a very good start. I'm an underscore type. She's good. She's very, very good. This is amazing. It's amazing. She's got my eye on a typewriter in seconds. Good grief, girl. But I have to sit out here for a good few hours for Kira to finish. So for now, the eyes have it. But in case you're curious about the final result, here it is. Oh, I like the look of him. It's just yeah. incredible. I find it amazing that she doesn't actually do it in pencil first. And no, I, I thought know. she would. But I liked it when Nicole Kidman. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah.